Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, it feels so good to be back. So thank you so much for sticking around, thank you for clicking on this video, thank you to my old and new subscribers, I appreciate you guys. So today I bring you this healthy and delicious chicken recipe. I hope you guys enjoy this and please do stick to the end because I've got an important question that I would like for you to answer. So um, let's get it started. we do here is go back 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 Guys, so as you can see I've cut the chicken already and washed it if you like to know how I cut it I'll leave the link below of the video on how to cut a whole chicken so as you can see I'm adding all-purpose seasoning so add the seasoning according to your taste so I've added about two tablespoons of uh, all-purpose seasoning followed by a teaspoon of nutmeg onion salt diced ginger and diced garlic so that's what I've used and I'm also going to add water just above the chicken I'm also adding bay leaf close the lid I'm gonna leave it for about 45 minutes on high heat so the chicken has been boiled so what I'm gonna do now is bake it to do that as you can see I'm adding uh, I'm just pouring a bit of vegetable oil on the baking tray that has a foil on top of it as you can see and I'm just rubbing it in so the reason why I do this is that to avoid it from sticking so yeah guys this is actually one of the methods that you guys um, suggested I should do to make it more healthy and uh, to avoid it from from being too oily so um yeah guys we're gonna try that and see how it goes so now just placing the pieces of chicken on the tray Be sure to reserve the chicken stock because we're going to use it uh, in a minute so please do not chuck that away because we're going to use it. So now what I do is add some oil on each piece. The reason why I do this is it stops it from getting too dry so it keeps it moist and also it helps it uh, to get brown up quicker. So this is what I do and I also do it on the other side when I turn them over. So I'm gonna put this in 200 degrees preheated oven until it starts to change color and when it does, I'll turn it over, put a bit of oil so the other side gets brown as well. So um, yeah guys. While the chicken is in the oven, I'm prepping my vegetables. So as you can see here, I am peeling off the skin of the aubergine. So I'm cutting it to uh, small sizes. So do you cut it according to your preference? So this is what I'm doing. I'm also chopping my green bell pepper, onion, just a box standard size this is the usual chop that I normally do so uh, nothing fancy and I'm also chopping spring onions as you can see and yeah why did I pause 
and guys you know i have to have my scotch bonnet so i'm chopping it this scotch bonnet i bought it from a congolese shop i don't know what type of chili it is it looks like scotch bonnet but i don't know what it is it's so spicy so i don't want any in my skin that's why i'm taking precaution guys but i know it's gonna taste amazing so i'm pouring a reasonable amount of vegetable oil into a pan you can use any type of oil you guys this is just the guidance of what i use so don't be um afraid to adjust things to the way you like it so i'm just waiting for that to get hot then i'm gonna get down to business So once the oil is hot, I'm going to fry the onions. I'm just going to stir it a bit until it starts to get softer. So once that's done, I'm adding in everything else. So you have the spring onions. You have the bell pepper, the aubergine, just add all the vegetables that we chopped in there. Just add all the vegetables that we chopped apart from the scotch bonnet because boy, if you fry that, you're gonna be coughing. <laughs> so we're not gonna add that right now. So as you can see, I'm just stirring everything, make sure everything mingled together, you know, so until it gets a bit softer. So this usually takes about uh, three to five minutes so I've got the heat on medium so just keep stirring it yeah I realized that the way I chopped the aubergines were too chunky so I've chopped it uh, I just cut some pieces just to make it a little bit smaller than um, it, it is basically so as I said don't be afraid to add anything else or adjust things the way you like it so I also added some salt guys so um yeah et voila these are the pieces straight out of the oven guys look at the color it's just beautiful golden brown color just the way we like it as I mentioned putting oil on top of it it helps it you know goes a bit brown and also keeps it moist it's not too dry but the only problem is is that the pieces are actually smaller than it was I don't know I don't know if it's just me you guys tell me are the pieces actually smaller because when I fry them you know they're not actually this small <laughs> I don't know but either way it's a healthy way and um, it's still delicious so um yeah this is actually the easiest step you just mix everything together remember the stock that we said to keep it so this is a stock so I've added the chicken inside as well as the vegetables that we mix so this is so delicious it's got a lot of nutrition it's got a lot of good good stuff so we're gonna mix that all together and do not forget the scotch bunny scotch bunny cannot be absent <laughs> no <laughs> no way <laughs> so um yeah let's just look at it it's going right in there so nicely chopped and uh, mixed stir stir and stir last but not least i'm adding a bit of water just above just on the same level as the chicken At this point what you can do as well is taste it just to see if it's lacking salt or anything else you need to add then then feel free to add it so I'm closing the lid and leaving it for about 15 minutes on high heat you can leave it until it's soft the way you like it so um yeah guys that is it
So when it's done, et voila, c'est prêt à manger. Ready to eat, guys. This is so delicious. I'll highly recommend you to give it a try. I hope this recipe was easy for you guys to follow. I do have a question for you guys. Uh, do you like me to um to uh, give you details, like proper details on the measurements in terms of water, in terms of um, the ingredients, that, you know, the quantity of the ingredients that I'm using. If you like that, please let me know because I have been receiving um, some comment that people are saying is not necessary, but the way I was looking at it is that um, I'm doing it for beginners, people that don't really know how to cook but um yeah i would like to know your thoughts please leave it on the comment section below that's it guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll speak to you all on my next one bye bye